and welcome back. So, as you all stand scattered on each side, blades out and these strange, like, shimmering, dark figures appearing around her, Otohan kind of looks to both sides expectantly. What do you do? You want a conversation? You better start talking before that jaw is removed from your skull. <laughs> uh. You think too far ahead, it seems, can miss what stands right before us, yes. The kind of shadowed versions, which now you can see are versions of her. They're like dark, shadowed versions of her body. Underneath before it was not Odahan, the ground is gonna sort of rip open and red light's gonna pour out and just a sphere of storm is gonna erupt around her. Well, here we go. This dark red rift oh kind of flash opens up and this deep red and purple light begins to swirl around Odahan as she walks forward in the direction of all of you. Two of them immediately dissipate. As she, and as the tendrils kind of lick around her and she kind of like just strikes it off. They're still like, and you watch in this kind of like storm area, there are these long kind of almost uh, whip-like tendrils of dark purple-red energy that just kind of like, almost like lightning that moves and is frozen in place and then moves again and freezes in place. And it seems to be almost like trying to wrap around whatever's nearby. Odohan goes first. Yep. It's going to go up to you first, yep. Ashton. All the way around. So uh, go. And is going to go ahead and unleash three its weapon attacks and then an offhand strike against you. That is 16 points of slashing damage, plus an additional nine points of force damage. Second attack, it takes 11 points of slashing damage, plus seven force. Uh, 18. Uh, the third hit, that is going to be 15 points of slashing damage. Yep. And then the the echo is going to take in the offhand strike. So it goes. And then from the side, the echo strikes as well mm -hmm. for 14 points of slashing I'm, damage. I'm down. Oh, oh God. Wait, what? That's going to finish their go. Next up is Orum. I'm going to uh, kneel down fast and jam this into Ashton's mouth mm. and then stand up, whip around, and slash twice. As you strike, you watch her kind of like flex the muscles in her forehead. And as you go, there's almost like a, a psychic shield kind of <laughs> and absorbs most of the blow. All right, finishing your turn. Uh, to take a legendary action, take a strike at Imogen. You take Shit. 11 points of slashing damage. Okay. All right, Chetney, you're up. Yeah, bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna grab my lower jaw and just rip my face off, and there is <laughs> a huge wolf maw underneath. But I'm wearing like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles chutney mask up top. <laughs> oh god, that's horrifying. Yep. And, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, one of my new blood curses. Uh huh. Yeah. So the the blood magic's already on the on the chisel, but uh, he takes it and he just sticks it into his rib, and he goes, and a huge howl comes out, and you see like shock waves that go out. It hits the back of Odahan, and you watch as the armor seems to almost bulge as muscles begin to fight, and something internal begins to kind of twist and contort within the body of Odahan Fu. You're like ah. <sighs> Looks back over her shoulder, back at you. Alrighty, that brings us to Imogen. I'm gonna just we have in your head. Anything? You're just gonna hear. Run. Okay, end of your turn. It's gonna use third legendary action to go ahead and take a strike on you, Fern. Fourteen Sorry. points of slashing damage. Okay. I'm just gonna use another psionic strike. Fourteen points of psychic damage. Run. 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 All right, Ladna. All right, FCG. I think we're running. FCG, you're up. I'm gonna yeah. run this way. Okay. All right. Now finishing your turn. Top of the round. It's now Odohan's go. It's gonna go ahead and run a couple strikes. Gonna do three attacks against you, Orm. First strike is gonna be ten points of slashing damage. Yeah. It's gonna go ahead and sonic strike for an additional fourteen points of psychic. Oh my god. She'll take uh, eight points. Of damage. Nice. As that curse kind of like <laughs> uh, is gonna go ahead. And Strike you again, you're prone to advantage strike. strike. Yeah. 15 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Because you are prone, the blade sinks deeper into Ooh. you on the ground. It almost seems to like seek to pin you to the floor. You take an additional eight points. Third strike against you. Mm. 12 points of slashing damage. Out. Kind of w moving away from the now unconscious Orum, pulling the blade forth. 
walks over past Ashton, just looking up in the direction of where Imogen vanished, and just staring up in your direction with the offhand strike, just does a strike against Ashton. I'm out. <sighs> and it's going to go ahead and use the rest of her movement to just start right up towards you, Fern. Hey, this bitch. is a bad, bad bitch. All right, cool. Chetney, you're yes. up. Yes. Yeah, double dash. I'm I'm on her tail. All four, all four paws on the ground. Coming dead, dead charge. End of the turn. Going to use legendary action to go ahead and take a strike at Fern. That's going to be 14 points of slashing damage. I'm out. That brings us to Ladna. All right, uh, I'm going to drop Wither and Bloom. Okay, so she takes eight damage, necrotic. Eight necrotic damage. Do you get to roll a hit dice, Ashton? All right, so you heal, regain seven hit points. Yep. Hey, that's great. That's great. At the end of your turn, I mean, it's going to spend her last legendary <laughs> actions uh, to use side powered leap. The outside of her body begins to sh- shimmer and shake. Rocks in the ground begin to like no, no, buzz no. and no, lift no, no, no. just a couple inches off the ground. Okay, I'll bonus action healing word Fern. So, Fern, you are now conscious, low prone, Odaha mm. now buzzing and kind of hearing the chanting off in the distance of the Wither and Bloom taking the hit and the strike, glances over and sees you dart around the way. The Psychic League suddenly bounds into the air, arcing 80 feet. As you're kind of rushing around the corner, you hear and right as you go to turn, you watch apparate in front of you the dark shadow of Odahan. One of the echoes kind of flickers into being and you look over your shoulder and she goes, can't run from this, my dear. And it's going to go ahead and rush into a flurry of strikes on you. Oh, shit. 12 points of slashing damage to you. Uh, she's going to take a secondary strike on you on the ground. It was advantage. a good plan. That is 10 points of slashing damage, mm-hmm. plus 2d6 because the blade trying to pin you into the ground as you are prone. You take an additional 10 points of force damage. The Echo is going to take the third strike on you. 13 points of slashing damage. I'm down. You're the only one in range, Ladna. Yeah. That's an auto crit. You failed two death saves. Damn it! Uh, that brings us to Chetney's turn. I'll take uh, two uh, Hyperform Witch Chisel strikes against her. Do it. Uh, 17 on a short. 70 points of damage. Yeah. Starting to see a little, little wear and tear. You miss a strike, and then she misses a strike, and you're both now just <laughs> slashing each other, dodging him just in the middle of this fray amongst this tangled mass of what was once a skirmish crawler, kind of just sitting there smoking rubble in the middle of this Damn. dust-covered battlefield. All right, that brings us to Ladna in the deep shadow before the darkness begins to curl and take you. (sighs) Not yet, my child. We have much to do. Your eyes shoot open. Brings us to Odohan's turn. Mm -hmm. Odohan here, like thrashing, stops for a second, looks at Imogen, and like the rest your friends are extremely obnoxiously resilient. Yeah. Perhaps I've been going about this the wrong way. And it's going to go ahead into oh. striking against you since you're right there. Oh, that is going to be 12 points of slashing, uh, 12 <laughs> points of psychic damage. Next strike against you, 18 points of slashing damage. And it is. And it's just going to go in for a third hit against you because you're just right there in front. <sighs> oh my fucking. Goes wide. She's going to go ahead and offhand to Echo Swap and boof. Yep. What? All of a sudden, Echoes. she teleports <gasps> separately from the Echo. They both boof and swap places. Yep. And is going to go ahead and action surge. Nine points of slashing damage. Uh, down. Okay. And uh, as it stabs, you see Orm's hand, which was reaching into his uh, belt, and the blue sending stone goes boom. Oh! Second strike. Shit. Auto crit. Two death saves. Yep. Third strike. <gasps> Orem, please describe to me in your final moment as Orem <laughs> looks up, barely holding his vision forward, and Odohan pulls the blade up and is about to press it down into his sternum. There's a really heavy sense of failure. At the same time, I know I'm going to see Will and Derek again. We've met before. Yeah. Oh. That's gonna finish her turn. Ashton, you're up. 
I'm just gonna take a wild fucking swing and I'm gonna swing and hit the ground in an attempt to just make a fucking shockwave towards this motherfucker. But of course a portal opens and the hammer disappears and is gonna hit her right back in the fucking head. Go for it. So you go, the portal opens behind their head, noticing something, and she ducks low right as the portal opens and the hammer swings wide, missing her by an inch. That brings us to Chetney's turn. I will take uh, a swipe at the echo in front of me with my uh, chisel. You arc up into it and it scatters into this like weird smoke like sludge that just dissipates in the air. End of your turn. You can use another legendary action to attack Fern. Oh my god. Take 13 points of slashing damage. Yeah. Yes, I'm wait, down. Wait. As you fall unconscious, the last thing you hear before the darkness takes your vision is Odahan saying, you carry the seed, which is not as strong as others. Tears just streaming down my face. I'm gonna fly down and forward with my hand outstretched, both of them towards her. Leave my friends alone! And at level three, I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers. 21 points, 21 points of, psychic of psychic damage. damage. As you oh, blast right. her mind, and she's oh, like, Ugh, and darts off in the direction, like, and then turns around and spins, kind of grabbing her face, looks up. Good. She looks back up to Imogen. You're so close. Boy, that was a hell of a run. As the blade goes into your abdomen, and then with a spray, an arc of red that seems to almost turn to black as it hits the dust and then scatters off of the wind. Fern Calloway is no more. Or, uh, Two more attacks on a round against you. <laughs> is going to go ahead and take her third and last strike. Strikes that third strike into Chetney and looks up at you once more. The more you run from it, the more you lose. You feel this kind of... this energy in your stomach and you fight it. It's like staring into the worst nightmare and it's calling you. So my hair's gonna fly up, my eyes are gonna flash white. I'm just gonna hit her with everything I got. As the arc of energy fires out and strikes her, it impacts and spreads throughout the torso and she seems to drop a blade, reach up and almost grab the tether. There's a grin on her face, there's an excitement, like a teacher waiting for a student to have a breakthrough. You give in. Or you all die. You go with her. And the tether is still kind of sparking mm -hmm. between the two of you, and she has almost like a, like not quite. She wrapped her arm around it, but she's just clutching it, and like her fingers are like burning. You can see this kind of like dark bits of smoke kind of rising from where her gloved hand, the fi her fingerless elements of it, as it touches it, the skin's darkening, and she's just kind of embracing the pain. I'm gonna do it again. Wither and bloom, on top of both of them. Introducing my dad. Wither and bloom <laughs> goes off. Chetney gets out of consciousness. She looks over. Looks at you. Is she your favorite? I'll go with you. I give in. You don't just choose to give in. You let go when the moment's right. And she's gonna go ahead and use legendary action to dash. Up to Ladna. Rushes up, blades out. You watch as she strikes once, the second time, and Ladna falls back in the air from that second strike. She immediately takes the second blade and jams it up through her back, which pierces out of the sternum. Let go and give in. She pulls the blade from Law and her body falls to the ground with a dark spatter across the rock. Throws the blade up, catches it. I'm gonna close my eyes, open them and scream. You feel like a tidal surge pulling you under. And as it does, the entire landscape around you just turns red. The dust storm, the wind freezes. The rest of you looking at Imogen. Her hair, fully extended and levitating. Her skin, a deep crimson hue. As she stands there lifting, the very space around her <laughs> shakes. And as you scream one more time uncontrollably, you watch as all the buildings tear away, the bricks crackling around like a whirlwind. The rest of you are pulled throughout. And with one final scream, white. <laughs> 